Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, more practice uh, questions on uh, forces and the laws of motion using Newton first, second, and Newton third law as well. Now, I just you want like to remind you about the steps when we solve any question uh, related to Newton first or second or third law. First step always write the given and check the units. Make sure all the units are consistent, which means if you're using, we're using SI units. All the units has to be in SI units, uh, meter uh, for uh, length, a kilogram for uh, mass, second uh, for time. Draw free body diagram for each object. If we have too many objects, we need to draw free body diagram. Free body diagram, all the forces acting on the object. We need to draw all the forces acting on the object. And then determine the direction of motion in which direction the object will accelerate. The direction of motion, all the forces in the direction of motion will be positive. The forces in the opposite direction of motion are negative. After that, we apply in Newton first or second or even third law. Now start with the first question. <clears throat> we have two blocks, masses 4.3 kilogram and 5.4 kilogram. So here this is M1, the first object, and this is M2. M1 is 4.3, M2, the big mass is 5.4. Are pushed across a frictionless surface, so I don't have a friction by a horizontal force. So both of them, they're pushed with a horizontal force. The value of this force is 22.5 Newton. What is the acceleration of the block? So I have acceleration. The direction of the acceleration based from Newton's second law will be the same direction as force, as the force. The force to the right, so the object as well will accelerate to the right. So I'm going to apply in Newton second law, F net. All the forces acting on the object will equal mass times acceleration. The forces acting on the object is 22.5. All the system will move with the same direction. So I have the system consists of two masses, M1 and M2, so I have to add these masses. M1 is 4.3 plus 5.4 times the acceleration. Both of them, they, they will move with the same acceleration. So I need the acceleration. Acceleration will be 22.5 divided by 4.3 plus 5.4. And this value will be 2.3 meter per second square. In which direction? To the right. To the right. Okay, now what is the force of 4.3 kilogram block on the 5.4 kilogram block. 4.3 block, this is the first mass. This is mass one. And this is mass two. So what is the value of this force M1 on M2? So I have a force here to the right. This is force F1 on F2. As well, M2, the big mass, will exert a force on the small mass 
but it will be in the opposite direction. So this is from Newton third law for every action. There is an equal and opposite reaction. So this one will equal the other map, the other force in the opposite direction. If I calculate one of them, the other one should be equal. So I need just to calculate one of them. So F one on two will equal on the second mass. So it will be M two times the acceleration. M two is 5.4. The acceleration is 2.3. And this value will equal 12 Newton to the right. To the right. What is the force of 5.4 kilogram on the block? 4.3 kilogram. So this is two mass two and this is mass one. They're equal for every action. There is equal and opposite reaction. So F two on one will be negative 12 in the opposite direction is the same. So it's equal F one and two equals to F two and one. So negative or 12 Newton to the left. Negative, it means direction. Right, positive direction. Left is the negative direction. So to the left. Okay. The other question we're going to solve is on Newton first and second law is this one. I saw this question because many, I, I saw many uh, questions uh, from MSAT, even the IB, even the IB questions uh, related similar to these two questions. Now here I have three blocks that are connected by massless strings are pulled along a frictionless surface. I don't have a friction. By a horizontal force. When we don't win, we tell you in the question frictionless surface. That means ignore uh, uh, calculating the normal force because the normal force we need to calculate it to find the value of the friction force. So the forces in Y direction will ignore it. By a horizontal force. The value of this horizontal force is 30, uh, 36 in Newton. What is the acceleration of each block? Now all the system, M1, M2, M3, all the masses are connected together and they're pulled together with the same force. So they will move with the same acceleration. So when we apply in Newton, second law, F net, will equal mass times acceleration. It will be the total mass. F net will equal M1 plus M2 plus M3. I'm adding all masses, all of them, they will move with the same acceleration. So 36 will equal M1 is 2 plus 4 plus 6 times the acceleration times the acceleration. So it will be 36 divided by 12. OK. So the acceleration will be 36 divided by 12. And this will give me three meter per second square. OK. Now the tension in each uh, string. Here at tension for to find the tension, I have to uh, draw free body diagram for each object and apply a Newton second law. So we will start with here, 
to the right. Free bear diagram, I have this force and I have tension force in this direction. So for object, what is what are the tension force in each string? So we'll start with M3, this one, M3. M3. So I have the direction of motion is in, the in this direction. So this one will be positive. Forces in direction of motion is positive. Forces in the opposite direction of motion is negative. So here, four, we'll take, we we'll start with M3. F net equals mass times acceleration. So F net, I have 36 minus the tension force will equal M3, M3 times the acceleration. And this is equation one. Remember here, this is M3. I have, this is the value of F, which is 36 Newton. And here I have F T, the tension force, and this is tension force too. Now for M2 now, M2. M2, it's here. Let's go back and see M2. This is M2. This one. So I have F T and I have F1. I have two forces. This one, FT2 and FT1. This is in the positive direction and this one in the negative direction. So let's redraw them. Here I have FT2 and here FT1. This is positive and this is negative. So FT2 minus F T one. This will equal M two times the acceleration and this is equation two. Now the last mass M one. For the last mass, I have only the tension force, which is F T one. FT1. We'll go back to the figure here, FT1. Now, now when, when you have the same rope or the same string connected to uh, object, the tension force is the same because it's the same string. Here I have a different string that is connected between M1 and M2, so the tension force will be different. Okay, so, but it's still FT1, FT1. So I will have and this will be positive because in the same direction of the acceleration. So F T1 will equal M1. This is M1 times the acceleration. Now the value for M1 is two. Acceleration is three. So this value is six in Newton. So F T1 is six. Can I find the tension force number two? Yes, you can substitute in equation two or, or yes, in equation two to find FT, uh, FT2, okay? And here we can find FT3 from this equation. You have already M3 and you have a mass, so you can find FT3. So let's find FT2 first. So FT2, F T two. This is from equation one. This was the equation first. So from we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute the value of F T one, which is equal to six newton, into equation number two. Equation number two is to write it. It's F T two minus minus F T1 will equal 
M to A, take this to the other side and find the tension force. So F T2 the M to A plus the tension force number one. M2 is four, A is three, and the tension force one, T1 is six, so a 12 plus six will give me 18 in Newton. Now we found the tension force. Okay, that's it. See you, inshallah.